Perhaps you have seen or played a tabletop battle game and someone referred to a unit of models as an anvil unit. But what are anvil units? The anvil tactic? And how can you best use them in your games of Warhammer Age of Sigmar? The anvil is a name given to a plan most often adopted to an army that wishes to hold a defensive position. Since Warhammer Age of Sigmar is a game of capturing objectives and constant mobility, it is not wise to commit your entire army to hold a position for the entire length of the game. If you don't advance forward, your opponent will capture the objectives and win the game. However, you can send in smaller anvil units to capture and hold objectives around the board. But what is an anvil unit? And which models do you know how to put into an anvil based battalion? An anvil unit is any unit that can take an enemy charge and has a high bravery and save characteristic to hold their position for many turns. As a trade off to their high bravery and save, the unit may have a poor damage potential. But high damage is not why they are there. It's all about denying the enemy that position. This war scroll for the Cities of Sigmar Ironbreakers is exactly what we are looking for to best describe an anvil unit. The profile wheel shows a save of 3+, plus, which means a dice roll of 3, 4, 5, or 6 will save this model. The flat bravery of 7 is fairly high, but if this model is in a unit with a banner, the bravery increases to 8, meaning it is harder to lose this model in the Battleshock phase. Although the Ironbreakers get two attacks, their weapon profile is pretty standard and has no earth-shattering rend capabilities. This fits our anvil unit description to a T. Now that we know what an anvil unit looks like, how do we build an anvil-based battalion? The latest edition of Warhammer Age of Sigmar gives us six core battalions to choose from. We want to pick units from our war scrolls that work the best with our anvil building philosophy. Our mission is to move the anvil unit to the objective quickly where they can hold it without too many casualties. Therefore, we need to find units that complement each other on the battlefield. Since we know the Ironbreaker's war scroll, let's find more units like them. Here we have the Longbeard's war scroll. Longbeards are the in-between unit between Ironbreakers and Hammerers and can be built with a two-hand weapon or an axe and a shield. When you equip the Longbeards with axe and shield, their save goes from 4 plus to 3 plus when they are in combat. You can also add plus 1 to bravery for all other dispossessed units wholly within 12 inches with the I thought the warden were made of sterner stuff old grumblers ability. Axe and shield longbeards will make a perfect match for our iron breakers. But who will lead them? Look no further than the Warden King. Warden Kings have a natural 3 plus save and an 8 bravery. They can also choose to stand on their oath stone instead of moving to give all dispossessed units wholly within 18 inches battle shock immunity. These three units could be combined to form a core vanguard battalion that has the swift ability to help them reach the objective quicker. And if you choose the living city as your stronghold of order, you can place this battalion on the hidden paths in the deployment phase. That means that they can appear on the battlefield later in the game, six inches away from the table edge and more than nine inches away from any enemy unit. Why not place them in enemy territory near an objective they can reach and hold with their strong anvil constitution? Have you used this tactic before? What war scrolls do you have in your army that are anvil units? Have I missed anything about anvil units in this video? If so, let us know in the comment section down below. You can also join our Facebook page by clicking in the link in the description below.